Fixing your game is a matter of understanding what exactly is wrong with your game. With over 800 million YouTube videos, I can't blame you for not having any concentration and not knowing what to do to fix your game. Point one, analysis. What's wrong? Are you missing open goals? Have you figured out that every time you lose the ball, it's because you're holding on to it way too long? Are you afraid to play? Are you too anxious to play? Do you play too quickly? Do you not analyze every single option in front of you? You have to figure out what exactly is wrong in your game. I know you want to see the next new skill move. I know you want to learn the next best way to shoot, the next new knuckleball. But if you don't figure out what exactly is wrong in your game, you won't have anything to fix. You'll just be adding band-aids on top of band-aids, and it doesn't make sense. You've got to get to the source. Don't treat the symptoms. So with that in mind, my friends, point one, truly analyze your game. Now that you know what's wrong, you have to do something about it. And that's the part where most people get stuck. If I understand that I'm missing open goals, I might not know why, but that doesn't matter. You have to focus now on the solution. We've already established that if you don't know you have a problem, you can't fix it. Once you do know the problem, you can do something about it. Notice that every time you miss these open goals or these easy chances, it's because it's on your weak foot. What does that tell you? It tells you you probably need to use your, your weak foot. The beauty of this is that fixing your weak foot will allow you to see and do more and more. Once you attack a problem at its source, at its root, you'll be able to become a better player. Most of you are avoiding this, and that's why you're not getting any better, despite how much you watch J. Mike do all his stuff, or turn around on the field, or play with normal cleats on a turf field. Jay, what are you? Poor Jay. That had to have, had to have hurt. He's fine though, guys. Uh, yeah, point three. figured out what's wrong. You understand that you need a solution and you're probably practicing this solution. The very last part is to execute this in the game and in training. It's not when you're alone. It's not when you're pretending and thinking about it before school, before the game. No, you have to actually execute this. This is the time and place where most players are too afraid to change. It feels unnatural. It doesn't feel normal for you now to do this and settle the ball with your right foot and then pass it, right? And do all of the things in training and do all of this in games with your right foot because that's not how you used to be. But the truth is, is that you won't get anything different unless you change. Executing is the best part of this whole process and all of the fun in the game happens when you celebrate your goals and you ball. Check everything below from us here at Unisport. It's a great day. My name is Will John. I am running for YouTube football president. A vote for me is a vote for you. Subscribe. Goodbye.